Hey everybody. Sunday afternoon. Just sort of hanging at the house. Uh, Denise and I went to the store earlier. Didn't see anything too spectacular. But uh, the Lady Longhorns basketball team is getting ready to come on TV. So I'm going to be watching that. They're in the Big 12 tournament. They're playing West Virginia, I believe, today. It's the semifinals. If and when they win today, they will play in the finals tomorrow. So I'm pretty sure that the rest of today is going to be pretty much me watching the basketball game. So I wanted to go ahead and do something. I wanted to vlog something. So I figured why not go around a little bit. I know y'all see the walk all the time. See, now you can see the windmill. And I can walk over here and spend some time over here because I'm not in any hurry to get back from break. There's a little bit of wind. I don't know how much of it y'all are picking up. birds over here is a butterfly there is the water retention area we have a bunch of uh, the land hills there is a garden up in the tree I don't know if y'all can see it or not so just walking around the uh, water retention areas so that we don't have flooding around here. Our house is up on a hill, so when there is a lot of rain, we don't usually have much flooding to worry about. But we also have these here to catch any water that we do have that overflows. See, this one's got water in it, and this one doesn't. I think this is the first time I've brought y'all over here. Uh, my buddy Chris, who lives right over there, he practices his golf over here. So every once in a while, you find one of those golf eggs. Oh, sorry about that. Another one. He's got a few of them over here. There's another one right here. So someday there's one actually caught in some bushes over there. So what he'll do is he'll come over here with his club. And <laughs> matter of fact, there's a bunch of them right here. But he'll go buy golf clubs, golf clubs, golf balls, a bunch of them, and just practice driving them over here. And then later on he'll practice driving them back so we have our own driving range in a way even though he does drive from over there not really that far it is good enough for him to get some practice also some people walk their dogs over here so there are some piles of poo you have to watch out for so there's that there's also this brush for a while, people would drive their trucks back there. It was like a little road. You can't see it now because of the overgrowth. People would drive back there and get stuck. And they'd come out and go over to Chris's house and ask to use the phone. So, hey, two more golf eggs. I asked to use the phone so they could get somebody to come pull them out. Well, first I'd ask him. And he'd say, no, he really couldn't do that. Because over there is uh, actually private property. So you don't want to go over there if it's not your property. But that's basically what goes on over there. They've, matter of fact, I don't know if you remember. But these wires 
go all the way over to Parmer and under the wires is where that road is that's now basically all mud but uh, yeah you can sort of see the road when you look down the uh, wire line there well I was hoping the woofs would be out so y'all could say hi to them but they're not so I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits right here I appreciate each and every one of you I'm so happy that you follow me hope you have a wonderful evening and remember if I don't see you in the future I'll see you in the pasture bye bye